at number 11, proudly sponsored by Lamentina and Sons Vegetable Growers. Chaz Tetsiris versus Steve Moxon. on 10 HD1. This fight is proudly sponsored by Lamartina and Sons Vegetable Growers, the best vegetable growers in all of Australasia. It will be fought under kickboxing rules, 70 kilogram weight division, 7 by 2 minute rounds. Your ringside physician is Dr Peter Lewis. We have a retired world champion Arthur Satanis as your timekeeper. We welcome the officials from the Victorian Professional Boxing and Combat Sports Board, Bernie Barmer, Scott Brower, Brett Osler and Noel Sharp, and your three 
Judges at ringside are Chris Anderson, Thomas Diddick, Peter Flaherty, and they will be fighting for the Lamartina Cup. Your referee in charge of this bout is Mr. Dave Hitchcock. Firstly, to my right, in the blue corner, trained by Dave Ashmore at the Barbarian Muay Thai Gym in Ballarat. Last night of the weigh-in, he came in at 69.8 kilograms. Hailing from Bacchus Marsh, wearing black shorts with orange trim, he is two-time, two-time IKBF Victorian Champion and IKBF South Pacific Champion. He is unbeaten. Professionally, 11 fights, 11 wins, four by way of knockout, ladies and gentlemen, Stone Cold Steve Watson! And now to my left, in the red corner, formerly trained by Bill Nikolakos, and he's now trained by Michael Vukovic, Ryan Jones, and Perry Maniatis at the Sting Gymnasium in Tanzong. Last night of the way, he weighed in at 69.9 kilograms. He hails from Clayton, wearing all white shorts and a big ball in the front. He is the current ISKA and IKPF Victorian Champion with an impressive fight record. Nine fights, eight wins, three by way of knockout. Queensbridge, welcome the elite Greek Tex Texas. Fight fans in QBH Melbourne, Australia, are you ready? To all watching on 10 HD1 around this great land, Australia, are you Thousands in attendance and the tens of thousands watching around Australia, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready for Rumble! Can I have both fighters to center in? This is what I call when I ask for a break and stop my much of the time. A good clean fight is my best man in the In writing and of course... Round number one! Steve Moxon in the tassel trunks. Red and black mini tassels you'd call those. Moxon, 11 wins, 11 fights. Zinzinus, 7 wins, 8 fights. What a fight we've got on our hands here with two champs. Uh, in Australia, right here and internationally. What great warriors they are. Moxon now starts the first part of that bout with some uh, uh, outside, uh, that looked like leg kicking there. Zitziris responds to that. Zitziris, what a wonderful kickboxing fighter he is. And uh, Moxon is a champ in this division. Starts with the uh, left uh, leg again there, uh, trying to catch the calf of uh, Zitzidis. Zitzidis comes in, some nice punches there, are thrown in there, nice scoring punches. Moxon comes in low. Pretty strong, tough little customer, Moxon. Uh, you'd think he was heavier than what uh, his prescribed weight uh, was, but he's a ball of muscle. Moxon there again, to work low, and a nice leg kick by Zitzidis, but the uh, slipping situation there. Hitchcock rubs the gloves of uh, Zitzirus and brings him back into ring centre. Moxon is ready and waiting. Quite diligently. Is the end of Zitzirus working there? But now uh, that was the hair of Zitzirus flipping around there, the, uh, the tassel. And the flipping uh, there, a sweep by uh, 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 Moxon, uh, Hitchcock. Again, uh, touches the gloves. A kicking action there from Moxon there on the leg of Zutiris. Zutiris comes around with the left hand uh, across the neck of uh, Moxon. No real damage done there. Again with a missing punch, a slipping punch from Zutiris. Moxon comes in. Good leg action from Moxon. And there goes the bell for the end of round one. Tyson Zutiris leads Moxon, the main event. 
This is by Proudly brought to you by Lamartine and Sons Vegetable Growers, and they're fighting for the Lamartine Cup. When you finish punching, you punch it in and you're not kicking. You understand? Don't go for that head kick too much. Go for the ribs, you understand? Yeah, Moxon's got uh, at the moment some uh, treatment being done to the left eyebrow, I think it is, in this uh, uh, that first round, so something slipped through there. Round number two. Too sure what that was, but it uh, looked like a bit of treatment there to the left eye. Doesn't seem to be cut though. And again there, coming in with the uh, leg kicks as a stop, a strong boy. Powerful lad. Fitzuris, a highly skilled individual of, of extreme class. Oh, and uh, Hedgecock not happy with the manoeuvre there from Moxon. Moxon coming in with an uppercut there. And that uh, shoulder bumping there for both boys. Uh, Zitsiris trying to fade those moves by... Moxon by catching him on the shoulder. Good defensive moves there by Zitiris. Oh, Zitiris now uh, opening up. Moxon's trying the uppercut, but Zitiris was looking for some uh, uh, the left hook and the right cross. He was trying to work into both sides of Moxon's head there. This is a really top class. We just had a top class bout, and we're getting another one uh, right here now with these two champs. And uh, David tells Moxon, keep the punches up, son. Blood on Zitiris' trunks may have come from Moxon's eye, so high from the nostrils, is it? Uh, John McCauley pointing out. A little blood there from the nostrils. On uh, Zitiris. Moxon comes up with an uppercut. Watch the heads. Watch the heads, both of you. Again with the uppercut. Uh, Watch those Moxon. kicks, beat up. Zitiris, a bit of uh, a mouse or welt underneath uh, Zitiris' right eye. Moxon coming in hard. Oh, Zitsiris just stood there and said, come on, I can take it. Some of the patrons are becoming uh, quite excitable here at Ringside there. They're enjoying this action, very much so. Zitsiris is really fired up now. And there goes the end of round two, and Moxon uh, looks back at Zitsiris. I think Zitsiris is getting angry now, really angry. Why are you switching, you listen? Why are you switching? Right? What I want you to do... Why don't you some of our sponsors, OptiSleep, Spark Performance, SportsBet.com.au, The Men's Gallery, Stephen Drinking. Situation, both boys ready to go. 
Hobbs in Zinnis with the uh, lead kick now. Moxon comes in. They've both had a chance to have an extended break there. Don't hold, Steve. Don't hold. Moxon again is bouncing around. He's feeling fresh again. Cleverly put the knee up and one of the gloves and knocks it down upon the knee cap then that was very clever. Watch the hands. Knocks him now. Coming in hard and now an uppercut from Knocks him. Oh, caught Gutierrez there. Gutierrez bounced off the ropes. He'll mix it with him though. He's a tough kid, Taz. As he uh, hangs on here, he cops another uppercut and now walks back. No real damage done there, I think. And there goes the bell. Steve Moxon in the Elite Green Tested Series. Round four. Round four. Here we go, round four. Moxon probably benefited from that rest. Uh, as the has been treated as he came back with a fresh, reinvigorated man in the third part of that uh, third round as the Cirrus gets swept. Two, three, and, uh, four. So far in this fight. Seven. Eight. Oh, he stepped on that bar, certainly didn't help things. Moxon jumps in now on Zitiris. Zitiris now waiting to try and fight back here. Smile swing punches there. Moxon bounces away. Moxon says he, he caught one a bit low, but he's all right. some uh, punching power into Moxon, but uh, seemed to bounce off the arm there. Moxon comes in underneath with the uh, uppercut again. That seems to be a favourite puncher. He's now working the body. Gutierrez comes around the side with the uh, left leg. Taz now, he's got to box Moxon in and see if he can get some uh, power punching or kicking going here. Steve Monson, very tough. Coming in hard. Taz is obviously feeling some pain, I think, in that cut foot. Very brave to keep going here, Jitsiris. Very brave indeed. It's got to affect his balance, you'd think. Monson pokes out the left jab. Jitsiris tries to come in with a left uh, to the body, followed by a right cross. And then three the left. Four. Four of seven rounds, ladies and gentlemen, the Lamartina Cup up for grabs. Four rounds gone. 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 Up now. Just watch the head. Round five. He's under the bell. He was hardly heard that one go off. Boxer now coming in with that left hand. Zatiris must come back here. Boxer a very hard opponent here. He's got that jumping style as well. Should throw his opponent off guard. Zatiris gets a nice left leg up around the neck of Moxon. Moxon throws out a nice straight right there. Sends Zatiris back. Zatiris now trying to work in and get through the guard of Moxon with the, the right hand. Hitchcock has a quick word to Zatiris. Nothing much in that. and working away at the body of Zitzirus. Moxon now. Another left hook may have found uh, 
Zetiris glanced him in any event. Watson now pushing Zetiris. Round five, halfway through. Zetiris with a leg kick to the side of Watson's head. And a nice right hand from Zetiris, but Watson keeps him at bay with jabs, left jabs there. Oh, a punching punch from uh, Moxon. No damage done. Tough competitor, Moxon. A very brave cat to cheer us here at the moment. And far away from the bell for the end of round five. Tetsiris losing more blood from the nostrils. Moxon has slowed up considerably. End of round number five. What a war in centering. Listen, that round's yours, yeah? Listen, Not much in that at all. Here, yeah? This uh, is a very, very up, close up, fight. Body start forward, forward, seven, ten, four, you wrestled him! Hey, hey, you wrestled him! Ready? 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 Round number six! There goes the bell. The crowd's getting quite vociferous now. Big supporters here for both men. Tazzy Jarrett's an enormous following. Moxon trying to spin in half, spinning kick, which was left high and dry somewhat. Tazzy followed up and Dan did strike on Moxon. Moxon's come in, he's tried to go with the left hand over the top and then coming underneath on Tazzy Again, pretty strong boy Moxon, he loves the uppercut. If he, if he gets in close and he can deliver that uppercut, it can cause real problems for Taz. Taz now bleeding profusely again from the nostril. Again now, Moxon moves back. Zitzirus just missed, uh, causing Moxon some big problems with a swinging right hand. He needs to uh, motor into him now, Taz. Moxon's hanging on in the corner. Zitzirus now trying to get some air space to throw some heavy artillery at Moxon, but Hanscock puts them. Moxon, I think, is slowing up. Now Zitzirus needs to keep scoring profusely between now and the end of the fight. I would tend to think. He's now got Moxon on the ropes. Moxon bounces off the ropes. Moxon tries to go with Zitzirus. Zitzirus now opens up on the head region of Moxon. It'll be a mighty effort if Zitzirus can put Moxon down from here. It's going to be very hard. Moxon's tough. Oh, Taz misses with the right. Moxon ducked in time. Going over the top. Taz with the right hand. Moxon tries a leg kick to keep Zitzirus more at bay than anything else. Zatiris now leaning in, he's got the gloves over the head, he protects himself, oh, massive leg kick from Watson, that would have hurt, Taz smiles, took that bravely, he's limping somewhat to Taz, and again, Watson tries the leg, he knows he's hurt, Taz with that leg In the action. round number six, give it up, Freeze Briggs, what a great main event! Queen's Bridge Hotel, seconds out, we have seven, and final round! Some welts on Taz in Zitzirus legs. Moxon comes out. Stumbled a bit there when he came out. Very strong in the thighs. Zitzirus starts it off with a leg kick. Tries to use a stomach push kick on Moxon who swings at Zitzirus and then backs away. Now Moxon, he tries the uppercut. That's his best punch. And he loves it, that uppercut, when he gets it going and he gets in close. Zitzirus, there's a problem here, a mouth guard has gone out uh, of the Moxon uh, mouth and it's gone straight back in off the canvas, thank you very much. We're in for a crackerjack last round here. Zitzirus gets the leg up and uh, sweeps across the head of Moxon with that left leg. Can he get this fight? Zitzirus at this point. Can Moxon do enough to uh, impress the judges. All questions will be answered in a couple of minutes as uh, oh, Moxon comes in with the uppercut. Zitzirus now through with the right hand. Moxon's got the head down. Zitzirus tries to take it off as it came back up. Moxon again throwing right hands at uh, Zitzirus. Zitzirus now pushes him away. He's got a blood nose. Oh, Zitzirus caught the a big right hand. I think he was, he felt that was his toughest teeth, Taz. He says, come on. No, the Moxon, he says, I can take anything out of the throw at me. How brave is that man? He really is. 
Racing Warrior here. He gets Clark into the corner there. And uh, Hedgecock not happy. He's putting a standing eight count on Jitsiris for the stumble. Four, Seemed to be a cracking five, punch on the back of the head six, to me. Seven. Okay. He said he's fine. He'll go on. He's all right. He's limping though. He's a warrior. He's got injuries. Moxon seems to have, to a certain degree, has got a slight gas problem. Running out of petrol. Maybe. I could be wrong. He's got an uppercut working and he's he's absolutely screaming. His punches. Oh! Dave Hedgecock's waved it off. Oh! And there's... Uh, Dave Hedgecock believes that Tazitira uh, should go on. Very... Danny Artis is not happy. The uh, Tazitira's corner not happy, but uh, the referee is an expert and he's uh, he has been in the ring many, many times and he has waved Tazitira's away at this point. No point, mate. He was behind. Peter Lewis. Uh, would, uh, I would tend to think guys, he's there. The, uh, the referee's made his decision. Hey! Guys, the referee's made his decision. Wait, how you guys act doesn't make, doesn't make it any better. Right? These two guys are sportsmen. Whichever way it went, it doesn't matter. Right? Give them both a big applause because they just gave you their best. Yes, we say. All right? And ringside. And well spoken by Michael Hogan and the crowd there. They just got a little bit agitated there uh, uh, because they love Taz Let's get up for both fighters, ladies and gentlemen. But if you love your fighter, you respect the referee's heart. decision. A true Spartan, ladies and gentlemen. You respect the referee's and decision. And so called Steve Moxon. Great effort by Moxon, though. A strong, tough Brazilian fighter. He was pretty strong most of the way through. I thought he was starting to... Uh, yeah, both some petrol tickets and aerobic capacity fighters. towards the finish, but it was a mighty performance results. by Steve Mox and a mighty effort. He's up against an absolute champion, Taz Zinturis, who's Ladies limping. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 40 seconds into round number seven. Your referee stopped the fight. Your winner by way of TKO, Stone Cold, Steve Ladies and gentlemen, give up for Taz Tetsir as a true warrior, Spartan in centering. Forty's hard out. Cold. What a Taz fight. You've trained, you've changed Taz out recently. You were trained to the absolute minute. You were throwing lefts and rights on hooks. Sharp as, mate. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Good Quick thanks to my sponsors, Lightjack Lightwear, Lake Turbo Roofing, Sopranos Pizza on Main and Habits Marsh, Recreation Health Club in Caroline Springs and Lightjack Lightwear. Um, thanks to Mum for bringing my belt out. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you present. Huge, huge thanks to the Iberian side here, Dave Ashmore, and the rest of the guys there in Ballarat. I've been training with them for the last uh, eight weeks. Just huge, huge help. Took me under their wing and... Uh, and got me here for the win, that's heaps. Really appreciate it. Thanks to all the guys at Jim and also the guys at um, Everlasting, uh, Ty and Geelong. Thanks, guys. Steve, the um, sports quiz forum's gone crazy for about a year and a half, just saying the two best 70 kilo fighters in Victoria, Steve Moss and Taz Tetris. Let's get it on. Michael Vukovic and, and Fight Force Promotions kind of brought it together and what a fantastic main event we've asked for. I'm sure the crowd will all agree it's one of the best main events, one of the best kickboxing displays we've seen in the last couple of years in the 70 kilo weight division. An amazing effort and all the guys at Fight Force we congratulated and you should be congratulated for uh, putting the uh, putting his rest. Yeah, also uh, yeah, thanks to Conor Michael Vukovic. Um, pretty much they called me every time, met me um, wherever they needed to to help me out and uh, gave me all the info. Uh, so they were right on it. Great job, great show. Never been on anything like this. And uh, hopefully more to come. Enjoying it, guys. Thanks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Stone Cold Steve Moxon. Well done to Steve Moxon. A great effort. It's been a phenomenal night here. Just, just on behalf of Tassel, I like it. He's, you know, obviously he's upset because he's put it. these two fighters couldn't have done any better. They both gave them their all. Tass didn't, didn't dog the fight. Moxon didn't dog the fight. 
They both had words about it. It was a grudge match. Mate, they proved it. This is one of the best fights you're going to see live. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please respect each other on the way out, regardless of what your opinion is about the fight. These two guys are athletes. They train for this. It's part of the sport, so just accept the decision. I'm sure down the track we're going to have a rematch. And I'd like to thank Steve Moxon for fighting on the Fight Force show. Hope we've done, we done the right thing by, by you performing on our show. And I'd like to thank the crowd for coming on Mother's Day. Please have a safe drive home. All the best. Thank you. Well spoken by Michael Vujovic. We, we've actually offered a rematch to Steve Moxon for November. So we'll be doing the negotiations in the next two weeks about the rematch. Hopefully it comes through. Steve, it was a great fight. I'm pretty sure you'd want one. You know, we put the right money up. We get the fight. Hope the crowd come back and see it. Ladies and gentlemen, on the way out, doesn't matter what, what happened here, whether you support Steve Boxen or Tass, respect each other on the way out. These are the guys that are the ones fighting. Don't do it outside, okay? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of myself, John Demacoli, and my co-presenter, Jade McPhee, we are sure you've enjoyed yourself tonight at the Mother's Day Challenge Cup. Queensbridge, if you're pretty proud of yourself, ladies and gentlemen, have a safe drive home, have a safe exit out of the venue, and thank you very much. Keep fighting, and we'll see you next time at Fight Force. Thank you very much, John McCauley. Thank you very much, Fight Force Promotions.